Right, so this is gonna be a bit tricky to to film and do at the same time. But the idea is we have our declination axis motor and its mounting plate. We're gonna have to wrap the belt with the provided tweezers and make sure that they're gonna go through these other pulleys and then we can mount this plate into the bottom of the mount and once that's all done we can pop the motor in and uh, make sure that the pulley is going to go through the belt as well this looks like a little bit tricky thing to do um, one thing I forgot to mention is that the kit comes with four of these socket head screws and these are used to put the uh, the idler poly plate back into the mount. So all right, here we go. So I'm going to try to feed this plate through the all the tweezers through the hole on the plate. While grabbing the belt itself. I wish I had longer fingers. Nope, that's not good. I think I have a longer pair of tweezers somewhere so I'm gonna to try to find those and uh, hopefully this is a bit easier All right so I found my bigger tweezers well, let's give it another go it seems to work much nicer Potentially use the other tweezers to try to noodle this plate into place. That looks better. Now I'm gonna have to try to fit those screws, the mounting screws that I just showed you. So for this I'm using my magnetic allen keys socket or a screwdriver bit or whatever they are called I'm wondering The original bolt had these washers, so I'm probably going to use reuse them, but I can't reuse the bolt because the new bolt is a slightly shorter one. So be sure to use the new provided bolt. But I am going to reuse the washers. I 
Let's try again. That's in place. Only finger tight at this point. Grab the next pair of washers. And the new bolt. Finger tightness again. So we're able to move this plate around because uh, I believe that's the mechanism of tightening the belt when, once we have the motor in place, which will go this way. Actually, the motor has a, a degree of freedom of movement as well. So let's take care of the RA axis plate now. We've got the plate which goes this way around. Again, we have to feed the bell through these idler pulleys. And again, I'm going to use my longer tweezers. grab the belt and then feed the whole play through the like that making sure that I'm not ripping the polis coat illuminator wires lost the grip of the belt so I'm gonna have to do it again a little bit less space on this side a bit trickier like so and then I'll grab the washers and use a new bolt try to noodle the bolt in place here. That's the third one. And the last should be easy. So that's the plate. The idle pulley plate in place. And the belts are looking good. And I'm going to pause the video here and um, read a bit of the instructions to see how I'm supposed to uh, adjust the belt tightness. <laughs> 